Hello everyone, welcome to today's deep flow practice. My name is Brittany and I'll be guiding us throughout this flow. Um, we will be using some props in the practice if you have them. Um, so I generally like to use two blocks. So if you do have blocks at your house, you can place them by your mat. If you don't have blocks, then a thick book might work in place um, or possibly a rolled up blanket. And as well, we'll be using a strap. So if you don't have a strap, there's lots of household items that you can use in its place, such as a belt, or if you have a house coat, the string on the house coat. Yeah, and then place that by your mat as well. We will get started in child's pose. So you'll bring your knees about mat width apart, big toes will touch, sink your hips down towards your heels, and then reach your arms forward out in front of you. Forehead will drop down towards the mat. Take this moment here to make any adjustments you need. You might want to place that block underneath your hips, just giving you some support here. Notice the flow of your breath before we get moving. Noticing if maybe it's a little bit shallow and short today. Or perhaps you're breathing long, deep breaths. You may even notice that as you begin to bring your attention towards your breath, it just naturally begins to flow in that deep rhythmic cycle. Feel the palms of your hands pressing into your mat. Feel the tops of your shins and your feet grounded down. Take this moment here to notice if there's any areas in your body that are feeling tight or tense. And if that's the case today, try to bring your breath towards those areas to find some relief. Once you are feeling a bit more grounded, a bit more connected to your mat, start to actively deepen your breath. Breathing in through your nose, nice and deep. And exhaling out of your nose to release. Inhale, fill up your belly, feel it reach down towards your mat. Exhale, hug your navel to your spine, expelling all the stale air. Inhale, expand your ribs wide in opposite directions. Exhale, contract your ribs in. Inhale, fill up your chest, but lift away from the ground. And exhale, melt your chest down towards your mat. Continue to breathe like this, inhaling through your belly, ribs, and chest. Exhale out of chest, ribs and belly. Creating space with your inhale, emptying with your exhales. Lift your forehead slightly off the mat. Walk your hands over towards the right. So you might even come off of your mat here. And then begin to lower your chest, your head back down, coming to a side body stretch. Continue rooting down to your left hip. And if you'd like to come a little bit deeper here, step your left hand over the right. Noticing a stretch here in the left side of your body and opening your left ribs. Inhale, float your forehead, walk your hands through center and now over towards the left. Exhale to drop down. Taking big expansive breaths here. Lengthening out to the right side of your body. Perhaps you step the right hand over the left. One last cycle of breath. 
bring your hands back through center to your child's pose. Inhale, begin to rise up to all fours, coming to a tabletop. You can move your block aside if you're using it. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips come over your knees. Your spine is nice and long with your belly button hugging up towards your spine. With an inhale, you can drop your belly low to your mat, tilting your tailbone and chest high up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, coil in, gazing to your belly button for cow. Just continue to flow here, moving as fast or as slow as you'd like. And feeling free to add in any movements you'd like to this flow. Perhaps you invite a little shift in your hips and shoulders, a shake in your head. Eyes can be open, or you can close your eyes here, really tapping into the sensations in your body. We'll move through one more complete cycle of breath. And then return to your tabletop, your neutral spine. Spread your fingers wide. Curl all ten toes into the floor. And begin to lift your hips up and back behind you, coming to a downward facing dog. We'll find some movement to begin. So start to pedal your legs out, bending one knee followed by the other. And adding in any little movements, any little wiggles you need here to help wake up your body. Perhaps you bend both knees really deep and straighten your legs. Or lift your heels up high and drop them down to the mat. Taking your time here. And whenever you're ready, slow your movements down. Finding stillness in your down dog. Try to press firmly to your fingertips and knuckles of your hands. So you can draw your shoulder blades down your back away from your ears. You can bend your knees here to start helping to lift your hips up and back. And try to draw your heels down towards the mat. They don't need to touch. And then fix your gaze, your dressy, on a spot between your feet or, the, or either close your eyes. With an inhale, start to gaze forward from high your toes and roll forward to a plank pose. And exhale, lift your hips up and back to your down dog. Inhale, come high to your toes, roll forward, stacking shoulders over your wrist, plank. Exhale, engage your belly, press back to down dog. One more time like that. Inhale, roll forward to plank. We're going to pause here, option to drop your knees. And then we get to slowly lower down to your belly. Press the top two feet into your mat. Bring your hands wide. Hands come underneath your elbows, tent up into your fingertips. And with an inhale, begin to roll your chest up. Gaze might lift. Exhale, roll your chest back down. Two more times like that. Inhale, rise up as high as you feel comfortable. Exhale to release. One more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Bring your hands by your shoulders. Inhale to a tabletop. Exhale to a child's pose. Drop your hips to your heels. Just take three breaths here. Noticing your body slowly start to wake up as we move. Slowly build some heat. Inhale to table. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to your fingertips, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and tiptoe towards the front of your mat, come into a forward fold. Feet are hip width apart, toes facing slightly in, heels slightly out. Inhale to a halfway lift, reach your crown away from your hips. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You might keep a slight bend in your knees here. Hands can rest on your thighs or float. 
exhale fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, release and come into a rag doll. Catching hold of opposite elbows with your hands. Bending your knees as much as you need so your belly can rest near or against your thighs. And let your head hang heavy. You might stay exactly as you are or you begin to sway your upper body side to side. Noticing how your neck and shoulders are feeling today. Maybe you give your head a shake yes. A shake no. Slow in your movement. Release your elbows. Ground down through your feet and begin to roll up to stand doing one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, lift your arms up towards the ceiling, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, lower hands to your heart center, equal standing pose. Inhale, lift your arms up high, option to lean your chest back slightly. Exhale, hinge at your hips, dive forward, heart leading the way. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, keep your right foot where it is, step your left foot far back. Drop your left knee to your mat. Then begin to walk your hands up your right thigh, come into a low lunge. With your inhale, lift the crown of your head high to the ceiling, lengthening your spine. With your exhale, perhaps you sink a little bit deeper here into your hips. Feeling a stretch in the front of your left thigh, your hip flexor. Your hands can stay on your thighs here, or begin to lift your biceps up by your ear. Your gaze, your drishti can stay right in front of you with a neutral spine. Or begin to lift your gaze up towards the ceiling, cultivating a back bend. One more breath in. Exhale, plant your hands down towards your mat. If you do have blocks, you might like to grab them and place them underneath each hand. And with your inhale, try to drop your hips slightly lower down towards the mat. Chest and gaze will lift. Exhale, draw your hips back as you lengthen your front leg and flex your toes towards the ceiling. Finding a flow, inhale, lunge into your front knee, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, shift back to your half split pose. One more time here, inhale to come forward. Exhale to press back and we're gonna pause. Fold your chest down towards your thigh, let your head hang heavy and notice the sensations in your right hamstring. Two more breaths. Inhale, lunge into your right knee. You can step your blocks aside. Plant your hands to your mat. Step your right foot to plank. Drop your knees. Drop down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, baby cobra. Lifting your chest. Exhale to release down. One more time, baby cobra. Loop your shoulders up and back. Exhale, release. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Drop your hips down. Three breaths. Notice how this child's pose feels compared to the one that started practice. Inhale to table. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your knee towards your nose. Step your foot between your hands. You might need to give it some help to get there. And drop your right knee down. Begin to walk your hands up your left thigh as you lift your chest, coming to your low lunge stance. Inhale to set up nice and tall. Exhale to sink into your foundation. Staying as you are, or coming to any other expression that's calling out to you here.
Continuing to breathe really deeply. One more inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Option to bring your blocks underneath your hands. With your inhale, try to sink your hips low. Lift your chest. Exhale, draw your hips back as you lengthen your front leg and flex your toes to the ceiling for your half split pose. Inhale, come forward, lunge into your left knee. Exhale, press back. One more time, inhale to your low lunge. Exhale, half split pose and pause here. Melting your chest, melting your forehead down towards your thighs. Try to keep your hips stacked relatively on top of your left right knee. Notice how the stretch feels in your left hamstring compared to the right. Inhale. Bend into your left knee, step your blocks aside, plant your hands, tuck your right toe, lift your knee, and step your foot forward into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release. Ground down, rise up tall as you inhale. Exhale, palms touch and lower to your heart. Inhale, circle your arms to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge and swan dive forward. Halfway lift, breathe in, breathe out, plant your hands, keep your left foot where it is, step your right foot back. We'll keep the right knee floating this time. If you do have blocks, I recommend you bring the blocks underneath your hands. With your inhale, we need to sink your hips low, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Now exhale, lift your hips up and back as you lengthen your front leg, coming to an extended pyramid pose. Finding the flow here, inhale, lunge into your left knee, chest and gaze will lift. Exhale, press back, extended pyramid. One more cycle, inhale, lunge forward. Exhale, press back and pause here. Your front leg doesn't need to be completely straight. Just pause wherever you feel a nice stretch here. Notice if you've lost your breath and try to invite that deep cycle back into your body. Inhale, lunge into your left knee. Step your blocks aside. Plant your hands. Step your left foot to plank. Drop your knees, lower to your belly. Two baby cobras, inhale, lift your chest. Try to stay light in your hands. Exhale to release. Engage the muscles in your low back as you rise up, baby cobra. Exhale to lower. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose, three breaths. Inhale to table. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog. Breathe in, sweep your right heel high up to the ceiling. Breathe out and step your foot forward. Coming to that runner's lunge stance. Hands will come to your blocks or come to your mat. Begin to sink your hips low, lift your chest, lift your gaze, inhale. Exhale, draw your hips up and back to lengthen to your front leg, extended pyramid. Inhale, bend into your right knee, sink your hips low. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. One more time, inhale, shift forward to your runner's lunge. Exhale, press back, pause your extended pyramid. Dropping your crown, your chest down towards your thighs. Inhale, lunge into your right knee. Exhale, step your left foot forward into a fold. 
Stepping your blocks aside, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, release. Root down, rise up, big breath in. Exhale, palms touch and lower to your heart. Equal standing pose, them to see to heat. Inhale, biceps can by your ears. Option to gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, plant your hands, step your feet to plank, drop your knees, drop your chest. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest, maybe you float your hands. Exhale to drop down. One more time, baby cobra, lifting your chest up. Exhale, release. Inhale to table. Exhale to child's pose, just taking one cycle of breath here. Inhale to all fours, table. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, lift your right heel up high towards the ceiling. Bend your knee and stack your hips, stacking the right hip over the left. You can stay in stillness here, or imagine that there's a little pencil point on your right knee. Then you trace some circles in the air of that leg. These circles can be as big or as small as you'd like. I'll start to switch directions. Inhale to three-legged dog, square your hips, straighten your legs. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Drop your left heel down to 45 degrees, and then reach your arms up high towards the ceiling for a warrior one. Try to press evenly between both of your feet. Stack your right knee right over your ankle, pointing the same direction as your toes. Find your gaze, your drifty, either in front of you with a neutral spine or similar to your low lunge. Lift your gaze, leaning your chest back, opening your heart to the ceiling. Take one more breath in where you are. Now with your exhale, circle your hands behind your back and try to interlace your fingers so you're coming into a bind. If this is feeling really tight for your shoulders today, then grab hold of your strap. Grabbing hold of the strap in both of your hands. Begin to peel your bind back behind you as you lift your chest, take a breath in. Exhale, lean your chest the inside of your right thigh for a humble warrior. Notice if you're holding your head up here, try to let your head hang heavy. And continue pressing evenly between both of your feet. One more full cycle of breath. Ground down through your feet, rise up tall, lifting your chest. Release your strap if you're using it, and circle your arms up high to the ceiling. Exhale, rotate your back heel to 90 degrees, and open your arms wide towards the horizon, coming to a warrior two stance. Pressing down through the pinky edge of your back foot, lunging into your front knee, finding the depth you want to come into today. Gaze beyond your front fingertips. With an inhale, flip your front palm up to the ceiling and reverse your warrior. Your right arm will lift up high. Left arm will drape down your left thigh. You can rest your hand to your low back for a bind. Breathing deeply here, feeling an opening in your right ribs, right side body. One more inhale. Exhale, circle your right forearm to your right thigh. Lift your left arm up high to the ceiling or bring your bicep by your ear for extended side angle pose, Parjro Konasana. We'll find a flow here with your inhale, rise through warrior, warrior two, flip your front palm and reverse. Exhale, circle forward, extended side angle. Two more times, inhale, rise up, reverse. Exhale to extend. One more, inhale, exhale. 
With your inhale, reverse once again. This time with your exhale, circle your hands to your mat, square your hips, drop your back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up high to the ceiling, low lunge. Exhale, drop your hands down to your mat and begin to press your hips back, lengthening your front leg, flexing your toes to the ceiling, half split pose. Hands can stay down on the ground. You can bring your hands to blocks once again. With an inhale, rise to a halfway lift, lengthening your spine. Exhale, draw your chest low to your thigh. Two more times. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your crown forward. Exhale to fold. One more time. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, let it hang heavy here. We'll pause. You can stay in this variation if you're feeling a nice deep stretch in your right hamstring. But if you'd like to come deeper and change the stretch slightly, then with your inhale, begin to lift your chest, rotate your toes out towards the right, and bring your hands towards the outside of your right leg. Then you might walk your hands a little bit further back behind you. Feeling a stretch in your hamstring as well as in your IT band. Two more cycles of breath, whichever expression you're in. Bring your hands to frame your leg. Lunge into your front knee, walking your hands forward. Step your blocks aside. Plant your hands, tuck your left toe, lift your left knee, and sweep your right leg up back behind you. Bend your knees, stack your hips, spine and thumb relief. Exhale, step your foot down to your mat for your down dog. Inhale, lift your left heel up high to the ceiling. Bend your knee and stack your hips. Staying here or similar to the right side, start to draw some circles in the air with your knee, creating some warmth in your left hip joint. If you're making circles, you can switch directions, about three more rotations. And square your hips, straighten your leg, take a breath in. Exhale, step your foot forward. Ground down through your right heel, rise up tall, warrior one. Finding your foundation here, rooting through your feet. Try to square your hips forward, draw your left hip back, right hip draws forward. And try to relax your shoulders down your back. One more inhale wherever you are. Exhale, circle your hands behind you, interlace your fingers or catching hold of your strap coming into your bind. Peel your bind back behind you. Open your chest to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge towards the inside of your left thigh, humble warrior. Notice if you're using your thigh as a shell and try to float your chest beside your thigh instead. Focusing on your breath here. Inhale, lift your chest, rise up, release your bind, release the strap. Lift your arms to the ceiling. And exhale, open to your warrior two. Back heel drops to 90 degrees, arms open wide. Try to spread your arms far apart from one another. Relax your shoulders down your back. Gazing beyond your front fingertips with your inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Notice if you rose out of your lunge. If so, try to sink low once again. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, circle left forearm to left side. Right arm will reach up high, extended side angle. Finding your flow once again. Inhale, rise up and reverse. Exhale, come forward and extend. Two more times, moving with your breath here. One 
Once again, with your next inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, circle your hands to your mat, square your hips, drop your right knee down, lift your arms up high, low lunge. Exhale, plant your hands, shift your hips back, half split pose. Hands to your mat or hands to your blocks. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, melt your chest low two more times. Inhale, rise up, find some length. Exhale to release. One more time. Inhale, reach your crown forward. Exhale, drop your crown low and pause here. If this feels really good, stay in this variation. Or if you'd like to change things up, lift your chest. Draw your toes over towards the left side. Bring both hands to the outside of your left leg. Then you might walk your hands slightly further back behind you. Take three more cycles of breath in whichever variation you are in. Bring your hands back to frame your front leg. Walk your hands forward, lunging into your left knee. Step your blocks aside. Plant your hands, tuck your right toe, lift your knee, and sweep your left leg up and back. Bend your knees, stack your hips, finding some relief. And exhale, drop your left foot down. Inhale, sweep your right heel up high to the ceiling. Exhale, draw your knee forward, step your foot between your hands, drop your left knee. Inhale, rise up, low lunge pose. Exhale, plant your hands, press your hips back, lengthen your front leg, flex your toes, half split pose. You're coming towards the peak of the practice, what we have been working through through all of these half splits, coming into our full split pose. So even if you don't have a full split, no worries. You might just stay here today or begin to slowly widen the stance. Just pausing wherever you feel a nice stretch. You can use your blocks for support. You might not even use any blocks at all, floating your hands. So really take this moment to make this pose your own today. Trying to stay here for about three to five more cycles of breath. But if your body is cueing you that it's ready to get out, feel free to do so. However makes the most sense, begin to come out of your full splits if you're there. Begin to walk your hands forward, lunge into your right knee. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee off the mat, sweep your right leg up and back. Bend your knees, stack your hips, stay here, or flip your dog. If you're flipping, drop your right foot to the mat. Press evenly between your feet as you lift your hips and reach your arm forward. Take a big breath in, filling up your chest with air. Exhale to three like a dog, to down dog. Notice how your body feels here. If one side feels a little bit tighter or looser than the other, and we'll try to find some balance. Inhale, lift your left heel. Exhale, step your foot forward. Drop your right knee, circle your arms to the ceiling, low lunge. Exhale, plant your hands, press your hips back, half split pose. Taking this time once again to take any variation of your half split that you'd like. Perhaps you come into the IT band stretch, or if you are working on a full split, take your full splits here. You may notice that you're slightly closer on one side of your body than the other. And try to not label this side as your good or your bad side, but just simply acknowledge the imbalances in your body today. Using your props if needed, Staying here for about three to five more cycles of breath. On 
And if you're in your full splits, draw your right knee back in. Start to walk your hands forward, lunging into your left knee. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee off the mat. Sweep your left leg up and back. Bend your knees, stack your hips, finding some relief, staying here or flipping your dog. Dropping your left foot down, lifting your hips, reaching your arm forward. Big breath in. Exhale, three-legged dog to down dog. Drop your knees to your mat. We're coming to a child's pose. Your knees can stay close together. Or you might want to bring your knees wide. Drop your hips down. Drop the crown of your head. Your arms can stay reaching forward with your palms facing down. Or you can flip your palms up toward the ceiling, giving your triceps a little stretch. Or you can bring your arms to rest by the side of your body. Slowly rise up. Scoot your hips over to one side of your legs and circle your legs forward. Draw your hips in towards your heels. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Knees will come out wide for a bound ankle pose. Catch hold of your ankles or catch hold of your toes as you sit up nice and tall. Inhale, open your heart up towards the ceiling. You can stay here. Or with your exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. You can use your elbows, your forearms, to gently press down into your thighs, finding a deeper opening in your hips. Or you can reach your arms out in front of you. Continuing to let your breath flow through your body. Slowly press yourself up if you're folded. Draw your knees together like you're closing a book. Reach your arms out in front of you as you breathe in. And breathe out, slowly lower down to your back. Place your hands by your hips. Bend into your knees and keep your feet planted down to the ground. With an inhale, lift your right heel up high towards the ceiling. Exhale, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, coming to a figure four shape. Keep a flex in your right foot to protect your knee. You can stay here, or you can bring your right fingertips towards your right knee, and gently pr press your thigh away from your chest. And if you'd like to come deeper, begin to draw your left knee in towards your body, wrapping your arms around your left thigh or your left shin. And you can stay where you are in stillness, or you might begin to rock side to side. If your left foot is floating, you begin to drop it back down to the ground. Open your arms wide into a T, take a big breath in. And then keeping your legs as they are with your exhale, drop them over towards the right, towards the left, so the sole of your right foot will plant. Your gaze can stay where it is, up towards the ceiling, or drop your gaze over towards your right fingertips. Breathing nice and deep here. Trying to send your breath towards your belly, towards your low back. Inhale, begin to lift your legs back up to this figure four. Scoop your right heel high up to the ceiling. Exhale, step your foot down to the ground. Inhale, begin to lift your left heel up high. Exhale, cross left ankle over right thigh. Flexing your foot, 
staying here or coming to any other variation of this pose that's calling out to you. And know that you don't need to do what you did on the right. Just really try to listen to your body here and give it what it needs today. Notice that stretch, some sensations in your left hip, left glutes, maybe even your back. And if your right foot is floating, you can plant it back down to the ground. Open your arms wide into your teeth, fill up with your inhale. Exhale, drop your legs over towards the right so the sole of your left foot plants. Gazing where you are or dropping your gaze over towards the left. Taking five cycles of breath here. Breathing deeply. Imagine that your body is a washcloth and with every exhale, you're wringing yourself out, letting go of what no longer serves you today. After your fifth breath, begin to lift your legs, lift your gaze. Sweep your left heel up high to the ceiling. Exhale, step your foot down to the ground. Curl both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your leg. Give yourself a hug. You might sway side to side, massaging the muscles along your spine. Come slowly, let's rock down. Draw your forehead up towards your knees, squeezing your foot tight ball. Take a sip of breath in. Exhale, open and expand to your corpse pose, Shavasana. Take your time here to wiggle around, adjust this pose as needed. And once you found that sweet spot, try to allow yourself to completely relax down towards your mat. Take a big breath in through your nose. And sigh out of your mouth. One more time, inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Seal your lips together. And allow your natural breath to return to your body. Allow the benefits of the practice to wash over you from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Feel the support of your mat beneath you. And with every exhale, feel yourself growing heavier and heavier. And imagine that you're sinking down to the ground, down to the earth beneath you. Staying here as long as you like. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.